Top 10 Quirks of the Blender Video Editor Number 1. How do I get it to play outside of frame 250? The play range is limited to 250 frames as the default value, so when importing strips you should always go to view, range, set frame range to strips. Before rendering the finished project it is also recommended to execute this operator, so the rendered range will fit the actual edit. Number 2. How do I get it to show waveforms or thumbnails on strips? On the right-hand side of the sequencer header, a drop-down exposes the options for that. Number 3. How do I make the project resolution fit the source file resolution? Select a movie strip and then go to strip, movie strip, set render size. Alternately, the resolution of the source file can be found in the source panel and entered manually in the properties editor. Number 4. How do I make the sequencer follow the playhead? In the timeline editor, playback, check follow current frame. By the way, the playhead is called current frame in Blender. Number 5. How do I import multiple files? In the file browser exposed in the video editing workspace, you can't. Instead, you'll have to use add, movie, sound, or image and in the pop-up file browser, select multiple files with either shift or control pressed. They will be imported in the order of the file browser, so the sorting of the file browser matters. Number 6. How do I avoid multiple imported image strips being imported as an image sequence? You can't, which is quite odd. However after importing you can separate the images, by selecting the image strip, then go to strip, separate images. And then adjust the length. Number 7. Why can't I hear any audio playing? In the timeline editor, playback, uncheck audio, mute. And if that doesn't work, then go to edit, preferences, system, sound, and change the audio device. Number 8. Why can't I cut the strip? In Blender the strips are treated as if they're 3D objects, so you'll always have to select it before being able to manipulate it. So select first and then cut. Number 9. Why is only one side of my strip selected after I do a split? Because the mouse cursor position determines what side is selected. Number 10. How do I change the value of multiple strips? In the sidebar, only the properties of the strip with the white overlay text are exposed. The strips with either a white or yellow outline are called the selected strips. If you want to batch change the values of the full selection and not just the active strip, press Alt when changing the value or right-click on the value and select Copy to select it. Number 11. How do I set my render properties? The render properties are exposed in the property editor, output properties and not as expected in an X or file browser pop-up sidebar when rendering. Top 5 genius elements of the Blender video editor user interface. Number 1. The zoom level can be changed by dragging the circles inside the sliders. Number 2. When saving a project file, you can increment the file number by pressing the plus button. Number 3. After an operation, you can adjust last operation, if it is activated in the view menu. X fade durations can be adjusted this way. Number 4. You can add a keyframe, by hovering over a widget and pressing the key, I. Number 5. In the menus, you can right-click on an operator, to change the shortcut key. However, you'll need to go to Preferences to save them. It is also here you can find and edit all of the shortcut keys under Keymap. Thank you and good luck.